Hi, I'm Helen Thompson. Welcome to Sydney Theatre Company Virtual. Um, bit of a new experience for all of us, um, coming to you from uh, my home. So for this instalment, um, I'm going to perform a speech uh, that I did in the production of Mary Stewart, which STC did at the beginning of uh, 2019. Uh, it was an adaptation by Kate Mulvaney um, of the Frederick Schiller play and I had the incredible joy of performing Elizabeth I opposite Caroline Brazier's magnificent um, Mary Stuart. So clearly there's not going to be any um, costumes or wigs so you're going to have to use your imagination. Now, um, I probably should give you a little bit of context to this scene. Um, this speech is part of a scene between Elizabeth and her cousin and rival to the throne of England, Mary Stuart. And it is the first time that these characters um, actually meet. Um, these two fantastic que queens who have um, great arguments for both sides of, uh, of the story. Um, they never actually met in, in real life, um, but, but playwrights do like to get them together for dramatic reasons. Um, Elizabeth has had Mary imprisoned because uh, she and her supporters are a threat to Elizabeth's life and to her crown. And Elizabeth takes this opportunity to, to let Mary know that um, she's not the only one who's doing it tough. Enjoy. Why did I never come and visit you? Or have you come to me? Because you're not entitled to visits. What did you expect? Afternoon tea with the Queen of England, claret and cake and a quick game of skittles. You're a terrorist woman, a criminal. Good Lord. Oh. You think you've got it so hard, don't you? You've got a dog. I never had a dog when I was imprisoned. I was sailed past the heads on the bridge that my sister had staked there. Then up through Traitor's Gate, past a line of armed men leering at me, spitting in my face calling me names. Past the scaffold of Jane Grey. That poor girl, forced by ambitious men to claim my sister's throne as her own. I walked through her blood, that little girl. I took her place in the tower. Saw so Many names scratched into the walls by women whose only crime was womanhood. <laughs> Jane Grey, Margaret of Anjou, Anne Askew, Margaret Pole, my aunt, Jane Rochford, my stepmother, Catherine Howard, and my mother, Anne Boleyn. I sat with the ghosts of those women for two whole months. I talked to them. I prayed for them. I cried for them. As I waited for my sister the Queen to decide my fate, two months. My sister left me in the tower for two months but I survived. My name isn't scratched into any prison walls like those women before me. I'm queen. Thanks for watching uh, STC Virtual. Um, I hope I'll see you all again soon. Uh, please stay safe uh, until we get through this crazy time in our lives. Obviously, um, most of you would know that the performing arts are doing it pretty tough at the moment. So 
um, I would ask you that if you are in a position to help, um, please consider donating to the Sydney Theatre Company or any theatre company or to the Actors Benevolent Fund. Uh, the links are below. And hopefully I will see you all again very soon. Thanks. Bye.